What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So uh, one of the new perks of being a supporter on Patreon is now you get to vote on which extension I'm covering every week. So the way it works is you support me on Patreon, and uh, then all of my supporters get the chance I give three different options, three or four different options of an extension that I'm going to cover, and then you get to vote and help me select which one that is. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check out the link to my Patreon page down below. So this week's extension helps you quickly generate scenes, layers, and views that you need in order to quickly create construction documents in layout. So this week's extension is called Condoc Tools. Plugin name, Condoc Tools. Plugin developer, Brightman Designs. How much does it cost? It's $250 a year. Where can you get it? You can download the free trial by visiting the sketchupessentials.com slash condoc tools. I'll also link to that in the notes below. I will note I'm an affiliate for this extension, so if you do decide to purchase, I will receive a commission. Tool functions. When creating models in SketchUp that you're going to use to create construction documents, one of the most difficult things to do is create all the scenes and layers necessary to generate the proper views and layout. If any of you have watched my um, modeling for layout videos, you know that organizing all of that stuff probably takes about as much time as creating your model. Michael Brightman has created a tool set that helps automate the construction document creation process. It's built around his plan generation system, where you enter some information about your project, things like type of project, number of levels, floor heights, etc. And then it automatically generates the layers and scenes necessary to organize your model and layout. You do still have to group your geometry pop properly into the layers generated, but creating the views and scenes can be just as time consuming. So this can save you a lot of time if you create your model properly. It contains several, several other tools, including a smart section tool that automatically adds section scenes to your model, an elevation tool that will automatically add elevation scenes, a detail tool, and property matching tools. All of these tools make generating views in SketchUp much easier. However, the second part of this extension is equally important. Condoc's drawing tools make generating plans in layout easy. When you open layout, Condoc contains several pre-built plan types that you can drag onto your layout sheets to automatically create drawings. Views built in include floor plans, foundation plans, roof plans, elevations, sections, and more. The Condoc Tools website also contains a series of tutorials, a forum, and Michael Brightman hosts a monthly live broadcast where he answers questions about the way the system works. All in all, this seems to be a streamlined, easy to use way to generate construction documents quickly and easily in a SketchUp model. You do still have to put your geometry on the proper layers, but the automation of the rest of the processes is still worth taking a look at. Obviously, this is a professional level extension, so if you don't create a lot of construction documents, then you may not need this extension. But for those of you that do, this extension seems like it really makes sense to make your life a lot easier. That's where I'm going to end today's video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Are you interested in this extension? Do you have trouble creating plans and layout? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you want to download the free trial of Condoc Tools, make sure you click the link in the notes below. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.